Hey everyone, it's Riley. Thanks for coming back and watching another episode of my first year on T. This week we are talking about stuff we're tired of hearing. So it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded a video. I've been doing a lot of traveling along the coast. I started from where my last video was, kind of around Barcelona in Spain. And we went north all the way up to Nice, France, and that's about 30 minutes from the border of Italy. And then we went all the way back down, and now we're in the south of Spain, right outside of a national park called the Sierra Nevada. And I'll kind of show a little more of the area, just to make this video more interesting of where we are right now. I don't think I have a lot to say on this topic. I think... Mostly, I'm just tired of being misgendered, and in particular, that's being misgendered by doctors and by receptionists or pharmacists. I expect to be misgendered in my daily life, and I am all the time, but when I go to a clinic regarding hormone therapy or when I go to pick up my prescription of testosterone, I really prefer not to get ma'am or she. That's just like the one time that I just don't understand it and I think there needs to be a lot more education about all that because that should not be happening. I spoke to my doctor about it because it's happening at the clinic that I go to and she was saying that because of their system they don't, sorry there's a lot of, there's like bugs like flying on me right now. Because of their system you can't put in a preferred name or a preferred pronoun since I haven't switched my legal name or my gender marker. So because of that, they can't really like gender me correctly, which I kind of said to her, hey, that's like no excuse. I mean, there needs to be like a box where it's for comments. Not that she's the one that develops the software, but there needs to be something that can be done so I'm not getting misgendered at my hormone doctor. So. I, need to, I said if you need to talk to your staff or if there needs to be some training, something needs to be done because I'm not taking this as an answer. Something that bothers me is when people ask if I've had the surgery because the surgery, I don't even know what that is and it's really invasive. I don't have that happen too often and when someone says it, it's usually just like over messenger or texting and people don't really ask that to my face because again it's very invasive but I don't like answering that and I tell people that that's not appropriate and this is how you should be asking. The last one I have is kind of what Emery talked about in their video and that's just people don't ask me questions and I find that shocking especially in person. I have been on hormones for almost six months now and I expect people sometimes to ask me how it's going or you know they notice changes but they don't ask about them and I think it's kind of like an awkward touchy subject like especially around my family um, I kinda wish it wasn't because I wouldn't mind answering questions but it's like when someone doesn't bring it up I'm not gonna go out of my way to say it either so then it's just kind of this awkwardness in the room and right now it's like subtle changes, but when the changes become more noticeable, like facial hair for example, I would find it just really strange if I still had people that just didn't bring it up like, oh, you just like went to Europe and grew a beard, or you know, how can you just ignore that? But I want people to be comfortable asking me questions, and I hope I'm open, and it's just maybe awkwardness on their part. It's, it's like I want people to ask me questions, but I want them to ask like questions that are appropriate. So I guess finding that middle ground is sometimes hard. And I could see why people are a little bit intimidated and know, don't know how to ask the questions or when it's appropriate. All right, I'm gonna show you a little bit of where I am just because I think it's interesting. And then I'm gonna go. Okay, here's the campsite we're at now. It's pretty nice, it's got a pool, a little restaurant, and yeah, you can see the mountains in the background. All right, here's our little campsite. Pretty uh, isolated out here. We're both on our electronics. This is my partner, Sarah, if you've never met her. Unless you've been to my personal channel. Yeah. Hi. She has a lot to say. She usually talks more. We're out here, you know, 
filming. You're on your computer. Really getting our wilderness on. All right, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. Goodbye. Which side do you want me on? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is too. This is too gay for the camera. <laughs> <laughs>